You know, our first reading this morning, we hear of the Mosaic Covenant, the Ten Commandments, as it's often referred to. And we know this was the law and the, of the prophets of, of Moses that was given to the people. And they lived faithfully, to, to live faithfully this law, look to the, their laws as a Jewish community each and every day, what was supposed to be done in this situation or that, and how they were supposed to live in a covenant relationship with their God. And Jesus comes and says, I have not come to destroy the, the law, but to, to fulfill it. And Jesus gives us the greatest commandment, to love God with our whole heart, mind, and spirit, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. This is the word of God. And we say today in this responsorio, Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. And then we hear this wonderful parable today where there are some categories, or I want to call them situations, where there are dynamics that sometimes affect the, in these groups the sowing of the seed. And it reminds us as Christian followers today that we, what it says to us about our, our prayer life, our spiritual lives, our spiritual journey, that we need to be aware of the word of God. We need to understand the scriptures. We need to reflect upon God's word. And, and many times we do that through little, little aids, the, our daily bread or the word of God among us or our daily reflections that we might have. That we try to gain a fuller understanding of what's being said and, ground, and grounding, no pun intended, grounding our words, ourselves, rooting ourselves deeply in the spirit of God. Because he tells us in these different categories that there's going to be anxiousness, there's going to be anxiety, there's going to be lures of the world, that popularity or fame or fortune that are going to affect us, that are going to tempt us at times. But we are grounded in the, in the Lord. We know that we have the ways of everlasting life if we follow his word that he has given to us. And life can be difficult at times. Yesterday I said that the, the quote of life at times feels between Good Friday and Easter Sunday morning. And there are gray areas in between. The highest peaks and the darkest valleys we experience sometimes in our lives. But the one thing that is constant for us is God's presence, God's love, God's grace. And as followers of the Lord today, we, we ask God to help us to always remember that to be steadfast in our profession of faith, to walk as true disciples of Christ, to look at our lives each day and recognize that we do not do this alone, that we do this by the power and grace of God. Christ Jesus, who has overcome sin and death for us, the one and perfect sacrifice, promises to us eternal life and the grace of the Spirit. He said when he ascended, it's better that I go to the Father and I will intercede for you and I will send you the advocate. And we believe the advocate, the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit walks us each and every day and guides us in God's ways and God's grace. When we feel mountaintop experiences or we feel deep, dark valleys, God is with us. He sustains us and guides us through it. I saw a quote a little while ago, a little prayer expression that someone had sent me, a little reflection. And it said, for the life of a Christian, life is not a rose garden. And I think everybody here in this church could attest to that, that we have difficult times. But at the end of the card, it said, but just remember who wore the thorns. Jesus has overcome everything for us, and we open our hearts to God.